Yeah, no, it's awesome. Obviously, when you can come out and be in the community, especially at schools with the excitement in the environment, I think as you can see today, like it's it's fun for us, fun for them, and hopefully one day some of these kids can be 36ers or Lightning players. Yeah, we, I've said it all along whenever I've spoken to anyone. We've been getting better since the preseason, but especially throughout the start of the season, we've been getting better. Okay, it didn't lead to wins straight away, but um, we stuck with the process knowing that a win would come and, and we've been able to win three of our last four, but now how do we keep expanding on that as we go? Yeah, it was exciting. I think for a few of us, it's probably been a while since we won in New Zealand. It's a tough place to win with the travel and, and how good they've played at home. So, um, no, we were really excited about the way we played and the way we managed to grind it out. And obviously, it took all of basically 36 minutes to get a lead. And then from there on, we just didn't look back. So it was nice. Yeah, obviously, Perth, um, they're a tough lineup. Any team that's got a Bryce Cotton in it with Keanu Pinder and, and, and Co. Is, is something you've got to worry about. But for us, I guess the thing that we've really focused on since day one of the, st the season starting was ourselves. Yes, we pay attention to what other teams are doing, we go through scout, but it's what we can do and we want to play a way that, that we know can help us be in a position to win games. And so we go to Perth knowing how tough they are at home and knowing what a lineup they have, but also worried about what we need to do to win. Can we say you've turned the corner? Can we say the Sixers have turned the corner? Yeah, I think you can. I, I think this league, you can't be bad on any night or you'll, win or you'll lose. You can't have nights off. So there's every bit of us that needs to be ready. But I think you've seen in results as well now that we've started to find a rhythm of a, as a group. But once again, you have to be able to keep doing that night in, night out to, to be able to get wins. You've been around a lot of basketball teams for a lot of years. Is there a, uh, a pressure that it's tough to play under in that first couple of weeks? Yeah, of course. I think any time you don't win games and it builds on that record, it, it, it adds pressure. But I guess we've got a lot of guys who have been around, and I think I've said this before, of... We understood where we were at. Uh, we knew we were behind the eight ball at the start of the year with some things that had to play out. And and it's nice, I think, a bit of a reward to see that once we got through that patch, it's actually led to results and, and that we're doing the right thing. What's it like for CJ to be someone who I imagine interacts a fair amount with him as one of the senior players? What's it like for you to have a little lift of this year? Yeah, I'd say it's it's been a bit of a weight off his shoulders. Obviously, it's a results-driven business. Nobody sees what goes on day in, day out. They all see what happens on game nights. And so for C, that added pressure would definitely be there. Everyone knows it. Adelaide wants to see winners. And, and CJ wants to be a winner. He has as a player. He wants to be it as a coach. And I think for me, the thing that I liked about C was he stuck to the process. Yeah, you could probably tell he was getting a little bit less sleep, but he, uh, he stuck with it. He didn't change his message. He stayed with that path. And, and it's led us to be in not a bad spot as we move forward. I think so. I think it's like anything. When you start to feel a rhythm of what you're doing is working, it builds confidence and you start to think that some things that you're kind of maybe trying or want to implement will work. And I think for Seeds, it's once again, he's starting to get comfortable with the group and who he needs to play at certain times. I think just his, his ability to know how to win, his ability to score, um, his ability to, I guess kind of deliver messages from a new voice a bit as well. Like sometimes it's same people, same message, where when DJ comes in, a new voice, and, and he's just come into the group and wanted to be part of it, first of all. But we've also needed a guy that wanted to take on that role, and I think um, he's done it well so far. But uh, the thing that I've liked about DJ, he's got it off the back of what we're trying to do. He hasn't had to go one out, and, and we've got the ability as a group to give him the ball when needed, and so far he's, he's delivered the goods. I actually said, having played in these for almost 10 years now, Trenton Flowers is the perfect guy for these games. His athleticism is non-stop, and he's just like a little kid like the rest of them. So, uh, no, it's, it's really good to watch, and he just needs to do this every week now on both our games and these games.